No, look, man, it sucked yesterday. It was uh and it was the worst game I've seen to a play. It was it was terrible. I've never seen him that inaccurate. Yeah, a lot of people are like coming in here, they're like, uh, oh, what excuses you guys because you know we're, we're two of guys. You're gonna what, what excuses you gonna make for him today? None. There's no excuses, he didn't play good. It's he, a bad game, he, like 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 wait, he's so, he stunk up the joint. Let's get this straight. So you're gonna play three foot three months, four months of football. Mm -hmm. And he is supposed to be 303 touchdowns every week? Still 300 yesterday. Yeah, but a bad 300. It was a bad 300. Right. It was a bad 300. But I, I think uh, – But you know, you know what I'm thing, saying? Like, well, here's the, the thing that's weird about it. You know, the I was in a lot of ways more disappointed with his first half than I was even the turnovers. Like, the turnovers are bad. The turnovers, I've seen that Tua before. I've seen Tua, little pressure on him, see something, and bad ball – Gets picked off. I've seen that too. We're about throw the disastrous pickoffs before. The guy in the first half who was couldn't just, hit the broadside of a bomb. That was a stranger. I don't right. know who that guy was. That right. was that was to me the alarming right. part of that game more mm -hmm. so than the interceptions. I was like, all right, interceptions happen. It snowballed, and then even still, like, yeah, had this chance. And I think that was the thing that was impressive. Is like, wow, he really was. That was the the worst game I've ever seen from him, and even still, like put him to within a score and needing a drive. Now you don't want to be in that position. We'll dive into that a little bit later. But that, I, yeah, I don't know who that guy was in the first half. He was unrecognizable. It it was, you know, because for the most part, defense held up. Um, they need to do something about them damn special teams, though. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up there. Um, and the offense. Like I, I think they made an attempt to run, but the 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 thing is, is that we wouldn't be talking about the run if Tua was accurate. Yes, because those guys were wide open. Oh yeah. So whether you were calling run or plays, it was more about the play that call, was called was a good play. It's, it was just bad execution. Look, it's uh, it's one of those things where like I don't really feel like there's anywhere to go but him. There were certainly some other guys who had drops. I thought, no, the, I, thought no, the, no, no. I, I thought the offensive yeah. line held up pretty good. Yes, thought it, it held up good enough for it, him. To, and was, I thought Mike McDaniel, those plays drawn up. I thought he coached right. a damn good game. That's what I'm saying. It it was all on, and 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 we always and you're very rarely, very rarely you're gonna hear me say this, right? Because I, I've always been a guy, team sport, who, I know team you. sport. But that was on tour. It was, it was, and and I don't. Like, am I gonna waver from what I think of to it? No, no, because one day I'm care. I want to see one day. I want to see how you respond. Anybody that has a problem with that, I'm sorry that every day you've worked in your life has been perfect. I just am curious, what was it like? Because it's why it why is so mi off, missing right? high? Like, right. Moose Johnson was saying like he thought he was just too jacked up. I guess I don't know. Like, do you think it was environment? Do you think that was obviously? Uh, I, I know Mick McDaniel did a great job this week of saying this is not about me returning it. He obviously cares greatly about his coach. I know I'm playing like pop psychologist here, but he he knows those revenge games mean a lot. Like those guys, they all they all care if they don't admit they care. You want to know how I know he cares? Because Mike McDaniel, like a crazy person, was yelling at a referee about Mike Gasecki not catching a ball with his shoulder, and he was in him and Wes Welker were incensed. You could tell they wanted that so bad. Because they didn't even care what the video said. They were like, no, no, no bold right. leap, bold right. leap. I was like, right. wow, I've never seen a headset off Mike McDaniel lose his mind like that. Right. So like, he clearly wanted it. And so I wonder if on the, you know, as a, as a product of that, because Tua really cares about his coach who's gone to bat for him, I wonder if he came into this game a little bit amped up wanting to get that game from McCoach. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't have a good you answer. You know what? Here, here's what I would say about that. You can go into a game fired up. I've definitely gone into games way too fired up, right? But as the game goes on, you settle down, mm -hmm. right? And Tua was consistently bad. No, it took him until the end of the third quarter to settle down. Right. And and, and so, um, I mean, it, uh, uh, guess what? You lick your wounds. You know, it'll be interesting to see. Did Tua talk? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, of um, course. And and and, and you know what he does? He wasn't a Zach Wilson. He put it on him, right? All on me, dude. Yeah, that's what he does. Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. What? You you know? Hey, hey! Don't come over here with that. Listen, nonsense. I'm saying, okay, you know, let's not, you know, let's not kick a, let's not kick a man while he's still down. You know what I'm saying? Hey, his, own, his own teammates were wearing shirts that said Mike White. I'm saying, <laughs> listen, not only that, <laughs> they ain't got nothing to do with no, us. No, 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 no. We just reveling in it. No, you, can, I tell you, revel. Who's. Yeah, I tell it's you, it's bad when Braxton, when your best friend leaves you. That's when it's bad. Braxton, Braxton Berrios Berrios left him. Dog, you didn't see Braxton wearing no. his shirt. Braxton, Ber oh man, Barrios was tough. wearing his shirt. That's tough. That's why I'm trying to consider maybe he, he thought about it maybe dropped the ball just to give Zach a little chance of coming back yeah. but yeah his best friend left him and wore a shirt so yeah it's getting nasty out there just don't kick the man while he's down he doesn't hey, have a mother well, to well, go guess to. what you know what we wouldn't kick him if he was not if he had taken some responsibility <laughs> now nah, to of course yeah of course we'll hear we can hear right, we, right? We can, yeah I have to this, uh, wait I have to uh, taking responsibility can I tell you this Zach Wilson's situation would have gone totally different if he had said that's on me yeah of course Right, so uh, so he gets what he gets. We uh we'll hear from Tua right here in a second. Let's just give you the headlines brought to you by New Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. Uh, you got this, Vlad. Here he is. Sucks that uh, we didn't come out and and say what we wanted to do collectively as a team. Uh, obviously, it starts with me offensively. Turnovers with third downs, communication errors. Yeah, I mean like. Two picks and a and a forced fumble. Not great. Not great, right, Bob. Right, 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 right. Um, you guys can text us at uh, 305-567-0560. Guy says McDaniel was stalking that left like ref like a lion. Oh, he was insane. He was insane. <laughs> he was, he I've was never insane. seen him like that. But but even if <laughs> even in his efforts to be mad, the most he does is the stare. Right? No, he was he, <laughs> he was, was, he was him and well, you know what I think helped? Wes Welker was mad too. Wes Welker's not. But see, and and the, here's the funny thing. You know Wes Welker. You've seen us, yeah, chopping it up. He's all smiles and giggles. That ain't. That, they wanted to beat <laughs> Kyle Shanahan really bad. They yeah, really did. And, I wanted, do. and by the way, and you want to know something? You know what? There was a lot of bleep talking. I saw Debo Samuel. He was peacocking in the locker room afterwards. That's why he deserves it. He deserves. He it. deserves it. He I, was, I just think that. I mean, he didn't want to the, be there, but you the, know he deserves the, it. The way the game started, I was really impressed at the pressure they got on uh, the quarterback. That Purdy held up pretty good, huh? Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. good. I was like, he held up pretty I'm like, good. Oh, he didn't crack or nothing. No, he. I mean, he had some balls throws, right? Because they were bringing the house on him, dude. right? And and that's what you're supposed that, to that do. That was that. I think that, you know, defense. That was the that was the backbreaker right the, there. The defense, when the defense on third down was was killing it because like they put themselves in some position, some good positions, and then right just couldn't get stopped. But 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 I think I think when you look across. And you see a guy that nobody's heard of playing quarterback, and you see him making throws the way he was. You're like, we bring in pressure, we're exposing ourselves in the secondary, and this dude is finding the open guys. You just tip your hat, right? Offensively, you like things to go a little bit differently. You could never get into a flow. No. And 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 here's how here's and, how and, and think about how they they started like you right. start the day One with a play. 75 yard touchdown right. play and you're like oh my goodness we are off to the races and for it to go from that to what it became was right. a, a very shocking but but here here's here's the thing it's like when you make plays offensively then you get into that mode of all I need to do is what I what what's going on here. Right, I don't need to do anything extra. Um, then, as the game goes and you start missing these open plays, then sometimes guys think I need to put it on myself to make you know do something extra. And then you have a situation where one time Tyreek Hill was going down the field, Tua thought he was going to stop. Right, Tyreek was going deep. Like it, it, it's it, it just kind of snowballed. Mm -hmm. And and so a lot of times when you have early success. Everybody relaxes and just runs their offense, the thing that's been successful all season. When you start having mistakes, it's hard for a player 
sometimes to evaluate why the mistakes are happening. Right. At the time, they just see we're not having success. I felt like, yeah, you know, he was, uh, and, and like they'd go to a couple shots of him, like on the sidelines. And like, I thought, you know, body language wise, he looked fine. He didn't look rattled at all. But I don't know, man. He just, it took him from, it, it from, a, from the Trent Shurfield touchdown basically until the Tyreek Hill touchdown. I don't know what the hell was going on in between. Here, there, but here's the deal. He had a bad game, a terrible game, right? As far as, and 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 people are going to look at the numbers and say, oh, not bad. No, he had a terrible no, game from this, stand, from this standpoint. He is the most accurate quarterback in the NFL. And he was missing bunnies, mm-hmm. right? Which is so not like him, right? Um, and so from that standpoint, you just – kind of shake it off because you know that's not him right it's not it's not a situation where oh he's been an actor all year now he's costing this game no this was a bad game this was an outlier this was not true to who he's been all year and it happens like it it it's gonna happen you're gonna have bad games this is more important though i know they want to win against san francisco you think there's pressure when they play San Francisco, what do you think the pressure is going to be with the sixth pick? What do you mean? They're going to play the Chargers. Um, the other quarterback, Her- Herbert, oh, was oh, the sixth pick. Oh, oh, oh. I got you. I got you. I got you. And the the two years previous to this one, the talk has been: Has the Dolphins did the Dolphins make the right decision? It's funny though. Like I don't think. That's that's why I find it so strange. Like for a guy who's dealt with a lot, I feel like if it was a case of him being too amped up, I understand it almost being more for being amped up for somebody else. I don't feel like he's going to be phased by this. You know, I don't think I think it, I, I almost feel like Tua when it's himself, it's a better situation than when you want to do something for somebody else. That's that. It, and it, it always has to be about you. In, in this context is that you can only control what you can control. That means you make accurate passes. You put the offense in the right position. You make good throws, right? And whatever happens after that, you kind of have to, even though you want there to be success, you can only control your portion of what's going on. You know, we always hear receivers say, "I well, I can't throw me the ball. Mm -hmm. right like it it, that's the blunt version of it but each person has to go you you know like the thing do your job no that's that's big especially in a team sport don't do the guy's job next to you do your job if everybody does their job we will all have success all right plenty to get into uh from their the dolphins lost to the san francisco 49ers you guys can text us at 305-567-056 you also can call us if you guys want to call in give some takes we'll take some of those 305-567-056 we take you up until two o'clock we're streaming live on twitch miami 560 wqam is our channel there vlad is in for marcos today who's out cruising and uh we got plenty of silly sauce to get to as well back after this so yesterday I was listening to the game to the Browns and the Texans on Sirius. Mm -hmm. I was out cleaning my pool or what have you. And old jackass over here. It's not fair. Is blowing me up with, oh, no. I'm like, oh, no, what? Right? He did this for a whole game. So I told him. He goes, oh, I didn't know. Sorry. No, I tweeted, oof. Right. And he goes, what? And I go, that pick in the end zone. <laughs> and I wasn't there yet. <laughs> I they thought were, I was watching. They were on like the 30-yard the well, line. I didn't even think you were listening to it. What I thought is I thought you had like one of those pirate feeds that's like two no, minutes No, because the, the game wasn't on TV down here. No, I know. That's right, why. But, but I can have, the, I, ticket I have the, the ticket. I have the ticket. So I was watching it. And right. uh, oof. Yeah, he did that. And I'm like, what happened? Right? And, <laughs> and, and so. And then he goes. And he goes, I'm behind. And I said, whoops, so is Deshaun. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, that's just raggedy. So I told him, you know what? That's fine. 
that's fine. Then I sent him a, I think it was a fumble or something like that. Oh, you know what? It was, it was a, a pick. They scored a touchdown. No, you know what I sent? I think it was, I think it was Chubb getting tackled for a safety. And so oh. I sent you a huge Oh, that's right. Emoji. Yeah. Yeah. They get so, tackled for safety. Right. It wasn't looking so, good in the beginning there, Leroy. So, so, and I'm, and, and look. Somewhere in between Deshaun Watson's misses and two misses is a completed pass because he was bouncing every Dude, ball. It was crazy. Yeah, he was. Right. Uh, he was all. He was uh, equally bad as Tua was yesterday. But, but he, he gets more of an excuse. Uh, of course, more... he was, hasn't played in two. But we said this. We were right. Like, what's this gonna look like? What's he gonna look like gonna when look he's like? back? When he comes back after two years off? Right. And uh, he did not look good. He did not. He did and, not look good. He thankfully took on the worst team we've all seen. We just saw them a week ago. The Houston Texans. They're terrible. They're terrible. And and so I sent him a reply. I said, "Just for that tomorrow, I am spoiling Black Panther." No, dude. No, come whoa, on. Whoa, 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 That's not fair. Whoa, 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 so whoa, whoa, whoa. can I just say this? I'm gonna say this. And then I, I'm not going to – this is all I'm going to say about Black Panther. Please don't say anything about you Black Panther. Well, Re, wait, 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 wait. There it, are listeners wait. who might have not – No, it has nothing to do with that. Okay. Rihanna is going to win Song of the Year. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Because let me tell you something. Every time I hear it on the radio, I'm like – Start tearing that, up. That damn Black Panther. <laughs> can I see – can I tell you one thing? Speaking of uh, entertainment – Cool. Salty texted, discharge come out of your eyes. And I texted yeah, – this, yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. is the uh, the opposite yeah. of Black Panther, I would say. It's called Tulsa King. Oh, oh this listen! Guy, he's can I tell, me Stallone is great in this. Can I tell you, dude? Eleven thirty at night. I think I love it. I can't it. stop looking. Tobin, I, I think I love it. I'm there with you, bro. I, it's a, it's a ridiculous show. It's ridiculous, but I think I love it. It's so stupid. Like this past episode, I don't care if I spoil this because this show is ridiculous. The, this the woman of the premonitions is Stallone's gang. They go and take baseball bats to club over the head some biker gang to steal their helium tanks back. And it would have made um, it would have made Goodfellas. No, no, um, like what's the movie? Casino. Yeah, it would have made was, Casino dude, so proud. It was crazy. It's like this. So show, they were going to steal. They had a they had a racket where they are people like to do. I guess whippets is that what it is? Where you yeah, you yeah. suck on helium. Yeah, yeah. whippets. Yeah. And so Stallone becomes friends with one of the the bartenders, and he goes, "I can get you as much as you want, you know, because we're a restaurant." So like they they're basically selling laughing gas all over town, and these bikers they get word of it like this is our territory, and so they beat up Stallone's lackey, which is a hippie, uh, and his driver, and then Stallone goes, "Don't worry about it. We're gonna use all the war, and we're gonna take care of this." <laughs> and it's like, and so art of war. So you think Stallone's gonna have some crafty method of like, oh, he's gonna talk talk it so through with the biker gang? So he just used the same line that. The captain used in Battleship? Yeah. But he, it's <laughs> I don't know in the Rambo reference. voice. In Rambo yeah, voice. Yeah. Rambo voice. He's just like, and so. Well, that's because he can't move his lips because everything is all yeah. Botox. Yeah. Well, and, and, his, and his driver uh, slash psychic Tyson. You the know, black he, dude. Yeah. His father hates that he's in the gang. You know, he goes, uh, he goes, I don't want your money. He goes, what did we put our investment in for? You didn't even go to college. And he goes, you love my investment? And he throws cash into the dad's face. And so then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they show up at the bar. They're getting ready to go take on this biker gang. And the dad wants in. The dad all of a sudden wants to start baseball batting some dudes. Dude. <laughs> and then, by the way, takes <laughs> take some cash from Stallone. Hey, so here's the crazy thing about you, right? The excitement that you have shown for this movie show. or this show. Yeah. I mean, it's not winning any awards. <laughs> no, it's not. That's so stupid. <laughs> It's so stupid, but I love Stallone. First of all, it's just like everybody treats Stallone with the respect like he is Rocky Balboa. Like, or he's a godfather. Like, yes. they don't like, like, what? all right. Because he's the king of Tulsa. I don't know, man. Right. Anyway, uh, back to the Dolphins. You guys can text us. Uh, Tobin and Leroy, please don't give the defense a pass today. They had a chance to beat a glorified Skylar Thompson with no practice. Defense should have treated him like Ian Book and failed. Defense should have had a shutdown game. Yeah, they weren't great. I'm not saying the defense. Um, I, I just don't think. I, I think if we're going to tier blame today. Tua deserves the most blame for that performance yesterday. Certainly them getting off the field on third down was unbelievably frustrating. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think that they're blameless in this. Definitely. It's nitrous oxide, not helium. 
My bad. Whatever. <laughs> Fair point, though. Helium. So everybody's walking around the telescope. Helium! <laughs> You're right. It was nice. That makes a lot more sense. Dude, what did your voice sound like that? So excited about a show and then gets one of the main parts of it wrong. <laughs> it's not such a stupid thing they're getting. That just as long no, but you got to watch the bad part. Like the oh, the bad. yeah, no, no, listen, it's it's entertaining, but it's ridiculous. But I think I love it. How about this one? Dolphin Kane. Dolphins are zero and four without Teron Armstead. Are they really? He's the new guy now. He's I didn't. Guy. Feel, I felt like the line was. I felt was okay like the yesterday. line for for th- three starters out for three stars and that Pretty defense. Good. That defense. Nick Bose now, is a monster. And and but but here's the deal. There was a couple of times where um, it was jailbreak, so it was a matter of either getting sacked or getting rid of the ball, and and so I I never, if a quarterback is not comfortable throwing it away, I would rather him eat it. Because mm-hmm. you don't want that nasty pick. He had enough of those. Yeah. Um, I just think it was a bad game. You hear what Debo said after the game on Tua? No. He says, uh, let me see the quote here he's got. He said, best defense in the league, put a lot of pressure on Tua. I feel like he got shook early with the pressure uh, that we were bringing. He was just throwing gimmies out there. I mean, you can come to any conclusion once you lose like that, right? Sure. So, like, you know. Um, I think, you know what I think? I think Debo Samuel is jealous that McDaniel's got a new favorite player. That's what I think. Personally, <laughs> Debo was McDaniel's guy last year. Now it's now it's all two of this and two of that. So you like to see, you like to see your little jelly, little jelly belly Debo. That's all, that's all right. Like, go ahead. I don't know how it's to. Like, you, you, you got it. Look, at this point, it's like, Vlad won't admit it. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you got to just tip your hat. You, you've been, you they're know. Star, look, they're, they're star. Look, they're star. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry here, Tobin. What, what won't I admit? When when the Jets look bad. What do you mean when the Jets look bad? Just what I said. When, <laughs> I don't, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to see where you're going with it. I think he's just uh, he's just hitting you with a blind shot flat. I don't know where it's I'm not hitting from. him with a blind shot. I'm just saying that when you've been coming up with a thousand excuses for the Jets. I'm not coming up with a thousand excuses for the Jets. Really? I just told you that our quarterback wasn't that good. Okay. 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 But yeah. I, Y'all going to the playoffs? Absolutely. You want to put money on it? Sure. Okay. All right. I'm ten toe down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she, you don't know who you're dealing with. <laughs> you ain't why you ain't playing. I, it don't well, matter. I ain't dealing with it. it with, I'm I, I'm with my team. You sure okay. you want to bet on that team? I'm betting on that team. All right. Okay. Mikey Blanco, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey Blanco. <laughs> That's what, they, that's what they call him in the Boogie Bronx. That's what they call him in Brooklyn. That's what we call him, Mikey Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a quick break back after this.